Phyllis Dillon was born on December 27, 1944 in Linstead, St. Catherine, where she attended the Linstead Primary School. Influenced by American singers Connie Francis, Patti Page and Diane Warwick, she began singing at school and in church before trying her luck in various talent contests. It was during a performance at the Glass Bucket Club in Kingston with the group The Vulcans that Duke Reed's session guitarist Lynn Tate discovered Dylan. Tate then invited her to audition at Treasure Isles. Dylan recorded her first song for Duke Reed, a classic titled Don't Stay Away in late 1965, which was later released in 1966. The success of Don't Stay Away had the immediate effect of propelling the young female sensation into the limelight. She then migrated to the United States in 1967, and the following five years saw her living a double life. She had a family and a career in banking in the US. However, she flew frequently back to Kingston to continue recording for a read. Some of these tracks include the Albert Dominguez Perfidia, Don't Touch My Tomato, and One Life to Live. They were also songs like The Love a Woman Should Give a Man, and Love Was All I Had. Another of Dylan's original song, It's Rocking Time, would later be turned into the Alton Ellis' hit, Rock Steady. After a number of singles and an album entitled Living in Love, Dylan ended her recording career in 1971. She was virtually out of the music business for over 30 years until 1991 when Michael Bonnet, the entertainment director for the Oceana Hotel in Kingston, approached her, inviting her to sing. Her refusal at first was later rescinded and sparked a revitalized interest in performing and recording. In the years following, Dylan would tour the United Kingdom, Germany, Japan, and other places. In 1998, Dylan returned to the recording studio with Lynn Tate, marked by re-interest in scam music in the United States. She remained active until illness took hold. Phyllis Dillon died on April 15, 2004 in Long Island, New York. After a two-year battle with cancer, she was 59 years old. Dillon was posthumously awarded the Order of Distinction in 2009 by the government of Jamaica for her contribution to the nation's music industry. Teach them! Hey, yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's Teach Them, right here, Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!